throughout the entire year, there's one niche that's gonna be profitable the entire time. And that's party supplies. This party's not just epic, it's legendary. So party supplies are an evergreen niche overall, simply because people are always celebrating something, whether it's a birthday, an anniversary, a wedding, or any other holiday such as Christmas, Hanukkah, Halloween, or whatever else there is, there's always gonna be some sort of celebration, there's gonna be some sort of party, and for those parties, people are gonna need party supplies and party decorations. So that in itself is what really makes the party niche a very lucrative and profitable niche year round. Now, really quick, I pulled up the search term party supplies on Google Trends, and this is what it gave us. So just to show you that there is consistent demand, it's a pretty consistent graph. It's pretty straight all the way. Of course, it has its little dips, its highs and lows. And for whatever reason, in November and in December, it kind of dips. But that could just be because a lot of people are simply just celebrating Christmas and they're kind of doing their own thing with their family. But nevertheless, there are still people searching for it during that time. So aside from that, a few of the different benefits that you have when dropshipping party supplies is for one, like I said, you have essentially year round sales. There's celebrations for everything throughout the entire year. Aside from that, your shipping prices typically are going to be pretty cheap. A lot of these products are in themselves very light. They're very small. And a lot of the times they're even just made out of paper or cardboard. So because of that, your shipping rates are going to be a lot cheaper, which can potentially translate to some higher profits. Also, like I said, you have celebrations year round because of that, you have tons of different varieties of different types of products that you can offer some for different types of celebrations. So you could do some party supplies that are specific for birthdays, in which case you're going to be offering things like little party favors, hats and things like that. Then you also have your seasonal opportunities, which are going to be things like, let's say, Halloween. Halloween, you're going to sell similar items, except you're not really going to be selling too many hats. You might be selling more things like some supplies to be able to paint your face or decorate your house or things along those lines. And aside from all of that, one of the biggest benefits to this entire thing is that you're going to have repeat customers. Of course, given the fact that you have good customer service and good quality products, but people purchase these every single year. Not very many people use the same party supplies from one year to the other. Maybe for things like Halloween, sometimes they will. They'll put away a few things and then they'll bring them back out. But for the most part, every single year, people are adding to their collection. And when it comes to celebrations like birthdays or wedding anniversaries, then those are always going to be repurchased completely new. Somebody's not going to turn 15 twice and somebody's not going to have a second or third wedding anniversary three or four times. So because of that, people are always going to be purchasing these new. Now with that, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So right now we're going to be counting down 20 different products that you can offer in the party supplies niche. Aside from that, I'm also going to give you a few different places that you can source some of these. So let's get started. So the first product on this list is going to be photo booth props. Oh my God, they have a photo booth with funny props. Oh, I call the big funny glasses. What's the one thing that you can think of that people always do in any single party or in any celebration? If you said taking pictures, then you're 100% correct. Everyone takes pictures at every single celebration, especially in the days of social media. Everyone wants to share all of their special moments with everyone else. So it's only natural that people are going to want to make these photos a lot more fun and a lot more engaging. And that's why photo booth props are our first pick for this list. So looking through AliExpress, you can see tons of different ones. And trust me, you're going to have an endless variety. So you can have photo booth props specifically for birthday, for New Year's with a particular theme. So make sure that when you offer this product, you offer a good amount of different variations. And if possible, see if the customer can somehow contact you to have customized or personalized products. Now, I'm not talking about completely custom products. I'm talking about, let's say, a customer wants maybe some cars decorations. An example that I'm thinking about is, let's say, somebody is having a cars-themed birthday party for their kids. Now, I'm talking about cars as in cars overall, not cars the movie, because as we all know, we can't dropship those products. So I'm talking about just cars overall. And they want to take photos of that occasion, of course. And because of that, they're going to need some props that are specific for cars. So in which case the customer can then contact you and then you can source that product for them. There's an insane amount of varieties. So being able to communicate with your customer to see what they need can be very beneficial. 
and ultimately very profitable. Up next at number two, we have cake decorations. Of course, almost every single party is gonna have a cake, so cake decorations are gonna be one of our top product recommendations as well. Now, when it comes to cake decorations, just like the photo booth props and just like all of the other products that we're gonna be talking about, there's an endless amount of variations, whether that be in different colors, in different themes, or different occasions. So just like with the photo booth props, try to keep an open line of communication with your customer, so that way you can give them personalized recommendations. At number three, we have bundled theme sets. So what I'm talking about here is sets with a particular theme. So let's go back to the cars theme. Somebody's having a birthday party for their kid and it's gonna be themed around cars. Now in that case, what a lot of people do is they go to websites like Etsy and they look for party favors in the cars niche. So right now on Etsy, I just looked up something very generic. I literally just put bundled theme sets. So that way you can give me more or less different types of bundles in different types of themes. And this is what came up. So if you can see a lot of the different products on here, they are very similar in terms of design. And I'm talking about the bundles. So if we look here, this one right here, right? The leopard print, everything in there is gonna be leopard print. Looking through some of the other ones here, you have a graduation party bundle. Then you have this birthday bundle for space and the list goes on with a bunch of different themes. This one's actually pretty cool with the Nintendo Switch controllers, but that's copyright, so we can't do that. But we can do something like, let's say, just a generic video game controller. Now, this next product at number four is one that really puts everything together and at the same time is used for a background for pretty much the entire party. And those are themed garlands. Now, for those of you that don't know, what a garland is, is simply a backdrop. Now, that backdrop can come in a variety of different forms. So looking through Walmart, we can see that there's a few that are simply just, let's say, some ruffled rainbow flowers, a few that are just little balls, some that's like confetti, and then we have some other really, really bigger and longer ones. Now, some of these are going to be very generic, but then there's also going to be others that are themed. So again, see if you can keep an open line of communication with your customer so you can offer them personalized recommendations. But when it comes to actually stocking up your store with these, I highly suggest that you stock up a lot of the different generic ones. You can also go with a few different themes and offer themed products, but make sure that theme is also ranging across your other products as well. So if you have themed garlands, make sure you have that same theme for other products, like let's say your cake decorations or your photo booth props. So that way when somebody purchases one item, they'll be more inclined to purchase another relevant item as well. At number five, we have balloons. We got balloons! Now, what party isn't complete without balloons, right? Balloons are absolutely everywhere, and honestly, balloons are a dime a dozen at this point. Everyone sells balloons. The point of having balloons on this list is simply because people are gonna purchase this when they purchase everything else. So instead of having to go to a different website, they're gonna purchase everything from your website. So balloons, you can see it as an upsell or a typically bought together type thing. Now, before we go any further, I do need to mention that just like in our other products videos, we have an easy to reference cheat sheet that I created. So that way you can have access to all of these different products and all of the different links. If you want access to that, all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below the hashtag party dropshipping. And let me know which one of these products was your favorite. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll reply back with a link to the sheet. All right, let's go ahead and continue. Next up at number six, we have something for a holiday that is celebrated by almost every single person in the entire world in one way, shape or form. And that's gonna be New Year's Eve decorations. <laughs> now, like I said, New Year's is celebrated pretty much worldwide and everyone is doing something for New Year's. Now, whether that's getting together with family, getting together with friends, or just kicking it back and hanging out with your close relatives, New Year's is a time for either some sort of celebration or some sort of get together. Now, as far as New Year's Eve decorations, this is more of a theme or a niche. So when it comes to New Year's Eve, you can take examples from all of the different products that we're talking about. So for one, you can have products that are New Year's Eve themed for photo booth props. Another thing you could do is a New Year's Eve themed cake with New Year's Eve themed cake decorations. And the list goes on. But the reason that New Year's is on here primarily is because, like I said, it's a time that is celebrated by pretty much the entire world. So there are going to be specific items for New Year's as well. Like, let's say 2024 balloons or coming up 2025. Now, adding to the theme of pretty much any party, we have confetti and glitter. Now, the cool thing about confetti is that it can come in tons of different shapes and it's very, very cheap and very, very lightweight. So on top of being overall a cheap product to source, the shipping is also going to be super cheap. 
Now, when it comes to confetti, you have, like I said, a lot of different shapes and forms that you can choose from. So you have something like this for birthdays where it's going to be a number. So you're going to have 10 for somebody that turned 10 years old, maybe 30, 35, things like that. Also, you have different years. So for New Year's, you can do something like this, which is 2024 or again, coming up 2025. You could do, let's say, the year that somebody was born. So maybe 1990, 1995, 2000. And then you have other more generic shapes. So you have things like little butterflies. You have things like stars. This one, which is perfect for bachelorette parties. And this one, which is this one is actually really unique. And it's really nice because this is perfect for engagement, which obviously that's what it's for because it says I do. This is actually one that's pretty unique and I haven't seen too much of. This is a, this is a good one. Now, speaking of this one being a good one, I do want to import this into my store. I want to be able to offer this. Now, there's been a lot of different products that I've seen on here that I also want to keep importing to my store. A lot of different variations, a lot of different products, a lot of different themes. Now, if I start doing this one by one, it's going to take me forever. If I do maybe two or three, it's not going to take that long. But if I start importing maybe 10, 15, 20 products, I'm literally going to be in front of my computer typing, copying, pasting for a few hours on end. And that's time that's being taken away from doing proper product research and looking up more winning products. So how can I fix this? Well, the easiest way to do this is simply going to be by using a system like AutoDS. Now with AutoDS, we have full on product importing as well as order fulfillment. So we can essentially automate your entire business for you. So that way, at the end of the day, you can really just kick back, watch everything be automated, watch everything work on its own. And all you have to do is focus on bringing in more products. Wow, that was me talking for a long time. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> so if you want to get started automating your dropshipping store, then you can check out AutoDS for the trial period for just $1 for the next two weeks. And you're going to get access to features like this. So let's go back to our confetti and glitter, because like I said, I want to try to import this one right here. Now, this all we have to do is simply go ahead and run to the link, cut it or copy it, run back over to our AutoDS dashboard. And then here, simply click on add products. Now, what we're going to be doing here is going to multiple products because we have a lot of products we're going to want to import and we're going to click on that and we're going to paste our link on there. Now, for the next one, we just hit enter and then we paste the next link there. So let's say I want to import these balloons right here. We'll do the same thing. Go ahead and click on it. Take the link, run back over to our AutoDS dashboard, go to the next line and then paste it on there as well. And then after we paste both our links, all we have to do is click on add as draft. And then both of these listings or any other ones that we add on here as well are going to be added to our draft section. As you saw, it's a lot quicker to do it this way rather than to copy and paste everything, then download all of the different images, upload everything. It saves you a ton of time. Now, once the importing of our products to our draft section is done, then once we click on the draft section, we're going to see them here. Now, all we have to do is go ahead and click to edit. And now we can edit anything that we need. So if we want to change the title, if we want to optimize the description, maybe if we're selling on Shopify, we, we want to add it to one of our collections. If we're selling on eBay, we can add it to a different category. We can do all of that through this same screen. So here we have to change the title. Like I said, the collections. You can also change the description here. Now, the cool thing about this is the fact that you can actually optimize everything with AI. So using AutoDS, you have the option to optimize both your title and your description in a few different types of tones. So you can make it sound more professional, a bit more funny, maybe more sellable, more optimized for things like social networks like Instagram or maybe Facebook. You can do all of that through here with the AutoDS AI. Aside from that, though, you also have the option for your variations. Here you can go ahead and add, delete, or edit any of the different variations, including the different prices. So if we click into one of them, you're going to see what your buy price is. So how much you're paying for it and how much you're going to be able to increase your pricing. So you can do it either based on a fee percentage. So let's say I'm selling on eBay and I have an 8% fee. We're going to add that here. So we can increase our prices based on a few different factors. One of them being our fees. So let's say we're selling on Etsy and we have a fee percentage of 6%. So our markup is going to go up by 6%. Now, on top of those 6%, we also have 20 cents that we need to pay per listing. So we can add that here as well. So a dollar fee is going to be 20 cents. So now we have a 6% fee plus our 20 cent fee. And that's going to all contribute to our final price. 
Now, how much do we want to make as a profit? Mm, I want to make 60% off of this one. So then after that, we have profit based on the dollar amount. So how much do we want to make based on the dollar amount? I'm going to leave this at zero because I have everything in my percentages. And our final sell price is going to be $12.50. Our total profit is going to be $4.36. And we're still going to be buying it at $7.26. The remainder is going to be going towards our fees. So as you can see, this is very helpful. It really helps you calculate your fees and make sure that you're always in the positive and not the negative losing money. Aside from that, though, you also have your images where you can go ahead and add, delete, or even edit a few of these images. We have a built-in image editor, and that's pretty much it. That's everything that you need to get started with automation through AutoDS, and most importantly, importing all of the different products that we're talking about today like that. All right, let's go ahead and get back to it. All right, next up, we have disposable dinnerware sets. Who wants to clean after a party? Nobody, especially dishes. That's why everyone opts in for disposable dinnerware. Everything at the end of the day is going to end up being thrown away. And that's what makes these the perfect addition to literally any party where there's food, which is pretty much going to be every single party. Of course, it goes without saying there's tons of different themes for this, even though it is going to be a bit more generic when it comes to this type of product, but there are going to be different themes. So you're going to have a few that are a bit more fancy, I guess you can say. They're going to be white. Some are going to be clear. Some are going to be gold. A lot of them are going to be transparent. That's one of the more generic ones and one of the more common ones. But aside from that, looking through Etsy, you can see that there's quite a few different options to choose from. Then we have glow in the dark party supplies. Obviously, a lot of parties take place at night, and this is just going to make those parties a lot more fun. When it comes to this, you have the option for quite a few different types of products, some of them being things like bracelets, necklaces, glasses, and more. And making drinks fun, or a bit more fun, because depending on what you're serving in those drinks, it can be pretty fun as is, but to top it off even more, make things a bit more cool, pun intended, you have reusable ice cubes. The cool thing about reusable ice cubes is the fact that once your guests are done using them, they can put their entire cup in the fridge or in the freezer. Of course, granted that there's no other drink in there, so not everything freezes, and they can just keep reusing those same ice cubes without them ever melting. Up next at number 11, we have tablecloths. Now, the tablecloths are obvious what they're for. They're going to keep our tables clean and essentially make cleaning a lot easier at the end of the day. So just like our disposable plates, a lot of these, a lot of the times are disposable as well. So in the end, everything goes into the trash and the very next year when people celebrate everything once again, they go back to your store and repurchase everything. Now with tablecloths, there are a few different variations. So not all of them are going to be disposable. Some are going to be reusable, in which case people actually do keep them. Now for these, you are going to be able to charge a little bit more and you are going to have a few different types to choose from as well. A lot of them are going to be waterproof, but then you're also going to have the option to choose some that are going to be fitted. The fitted ones can be sold at a higher price and essentially they're just more convenient overall because if some sort of wind comes along and decides to just try to blow everything away, the tablecloth is going to stay firm. And trust me, this is a very common occurrence in pretty much any outdoor party. Just look up all those different fails that there are on YouTube. Now, just like we mentioned earlier, one of the biggest holidays in the entire year has to be New Year's. The same can be said for Halloween. Halloween is a party holiday. Back in the day, it used to be more than anything to dress up and go have some fun, trick or treat and have some candy. But a lot of those kids have grown up and now all they want to do is party. And that's why Halloween party favors are another huge hit for the party niche. Now, the cool thing about Halloween is that you can really start to get fun with it. So Halloween is on top of being a day to just celebrate and have fun. It's a day to be scary and to scare people. So because of this, you have a lot of different opportunities to sell a lot of different types of products. And overall, it's a very fun holiday. So looking through some of the different options you have here, you have things like your basic little party favors that you can include in goodie bags for, let's say, kids parties. You have different types of dress up items, which, of course, are going to be perfect for Halloween parties. Instead of having things like your regular typical paper party bags, they have some really cool ones like these, like these little mini black candy kettles. So it's like those little witches brews where except instead of putting potions in it, you're going to be putting candy, obviously. And they have a ton more things that are just overall fun. And that's what Halloween's about, having fun. Now, with Halloween, New Year's Eve, and essentially any other celebration there is, there is a lot of drinks. Whether that be adult drinks or any drink, everyone has some sort of drink with them, and everyone is always mixing up the cups. And at one point, I remember when I was little, I drank from the wrong cup, and I almost threw up. So in order to help avoid that, 
drink markers are the perfect accessory for pretty much any party. Now, these drink markers can come in a few different varieties. So some people sell them customized, they'll sell them with people's names on them, and this is for the smaller parties. Like let's say a bachelor party or a bachelorette party where you have maybe five or six people, customized drink tags or customized drink markers would be perfect. But if you have a bigger party, let's say you have a kid who's having a party with maybe 10 or 15 of their friends, then you're not gonna customize every single one of them. You're gonna get more generic ones. And at the end of the day, that's also gonna be a bit cheaper for the end consumer. And when it comes to those, there's also a ton of different options. Like just look at these. These are little rings that you can put at the end of your cup. So that way you can differentiate which one is yours. On top of that, you have some like this one, which is a little butterfly. Some like this one, which is pretty much the same thing that I just showed you, except in the form of a little bunny. And just a few other different types of markers that they're pretty simple. They're really small and really they just get the job done. They're very, very handy. Now, depending on the theme of your party or the celebration that's going on, you're also going to be able to have things like flowers. Flowers are going to add that little elegant touch to certain types of parties. Like let's say engagement parties, wedding parties, things like that. Parties like those can benefit a lot aesthetically from flowers. Now, speaking of engagements and weddings, bridesmaids and bride sets are up next. So when women go on their bachelorette parties, and not just women, guys too, when they go on their bachelor parties, everyone likes to wear matching sets, whether that be matching t-shirts, matching hats, or just matching anything. Now, in particular, from personal experience that I've seen both in my wedding and other weddings, when women are getting married, they're all going to be in that room and they're all going to be getting ready together. In which case, they're all going to be wearing the same robes that are themed to the party. And those are extremely lucrative because every single wedding has those. I have not been to one wedding where I don't see that. So here on Amazon, you can find quite a few different products and a few different varieties. So for one, you have the robes, like I mentioned, some of them can be customized. Some of them are just going to say bride or bridesmaid. You also have the option to offer things like the sashes, like these over here, which can essentially be the same thing. Then you have things like different types of cups, different types of party tumblers, and everything to just differentiate the bride from her bridesmaids. All right, next up at number 16, we have one product that a lot of people don't like, but a lot of people are opting in for because it's extremely sustainable. And that is paper straws. Why are they making straws out of paper? Now, don't hate me because I know a lot of people don't like paper straws. A lot of people are all for it. Me personally, I'm kind of indifferent. I don't like the fact that they get all mushy halfway throughout your drink. But it, I guess if you drink your drink fast enough, then that's not going to matter. But that's beside the point. A lot of people opt in for these because, like I said, they're sustainable. It's good for the environment. And overall, people see them as... I guess you can say somewhat healthier because of the lack of microplastics. Lately, everyone is obsessed with microplastics in anything that they consume that is inside some sort of plastic container. Straws being one of them. Straws are made out of plastic. They have microplastics. When you drink it, people are afraid of intaking those microplastics. So that's another reason why biodegradable straws are a huge hit, especially nowadays. Now, at 17, we have party bags. Now, party bags are going to be specifically, of course, to have party favors. You're going to have all of your different treats in these different bags. Now, these are pretty cheap to source and you can sell them in huge bundles, which is really what a lot of people are going to do. Now, if you have the ability to, one way that you can make this a bit more specific for your customers is be able to offer these in specific quantities. Now, I'm not talking about the generic 5, 10, 15, 20, 100. I'm talking about singles. I know you're kind of like singles. Yeah, you can do these in singles. While it might not be as profitable per order, once you start to lump everything together, it will actually end up being more profitable because if you sell each one of these individually, you can sell them at a higher price. Now, I'm not saying get rid of your bundles. I'm not saying get rid of the fives, tens, fifteens, but a lot of times people can order, let's say, a set of 15 and they think, oh, I need maybe five more and they'll order five individual ones. In which case, of course, you can get rid of the five option and just offer maybe starting at 10. So you can offer individuals up until a set of 10. Now, one more holiday that's extremely popular and extremely lucrative, especially when it comes to decorating your house or just overall decorations, is going to be Christmas decorations. Now, I know that on Google Trends, we saw that there's somewhat of a dip around this time, but that was in particular for things like party favors or party supplies for Christmas. Right now, we're talking about Christmas decorations. So while it's not necessarily directly a party supply or a party favor, people do purchase these to celebrate the Christmas season. And at the end of the day, a lot of people or 
most people still have parties and get togethers during Christmas. It might not be the most booming time when it comes to business for us dropshippers, but there's still a lot of opportunity and there's still a lot of people celebrating these holidays and having parties and get togethers. Up next on number 19, we have pool party favors. Now this niche or this category in particular is gonna spike around April or May, around April. So in April is when you wanna start selling these products because that's when people are gonna start looking for things to do during the summer, in between April and May, so that way when June comes around, everyone's ready. And last but not least, what party is not gonna be complete without some sort of bow or ribbon? primarily for things like presents. But a lot of the times people do take these ribbons, they take the bows, and they start decorating either their entire house or the entire party space. Bows and ribbons can be pretty universal, whether that be for guys or girls. And a lot of the times they are geared towards specifically niche parties. Like let's say things like anniversaries, Christmas, or primarily baby showers. Now those are the top 20 party supplies that you should be drop shipping right now. As far as the different suppliers that you can source your products from, you saw me use primarily AliExpress, Amazon, Walmart, and Etsy. When it comes to party supplies, those have to hands down be the best suppliers that you can go with, especially my personal favorite, Etsy. Now, when it comes to selling the products, Etsy is gonna be hands down the best place for you to sell them. Etsy is known specifically for handcrafted products, things like party supplies, and overall crafting supplies as well. So if you're looking for one of the best platforms to dropship your products on, specifically your party supplies, then don't sleep on Etsy. Aside from that though, you can also sell these products on places like eBay and your own website. Now, again, Etsy has to be probably the best place to sell these with eBay being second. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end of this video. If you did make it this far, please make sure you smash that like button hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Remember to gain access to the cheat sheet with all of the different links and information I talked about in today's video. All you have to do is go ahead and comment down below the hashtag party dropshipping and let me know which one of these products was your favorite. Huge thank you once again for watching. My name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch you all next time.